Well, all stars are finally here. Maybe not finally. I don't know if people were <laughs> probably not really waiting around to see it, but that we weren't sure how serious teams were going to be taking this competition. But after day one, it turns out pretty serious. Yeah, there weren't any troll picks. There wasn't any negotiations nope. between teams. Even in the 1v1 tournament, no one was doing these mirror matchups or being like, hey, let's do a Zoe one-on-one. -on -one. It was pretty, I want to win these games and represent our region. And even the 1v1s were more serious than I originally thought. In the past, again, there's been these weird mirror matchups, Froggen doing Anivia 1v1s. Uh, none of that this year. Everyone's actually trying to win. So it's been a pretty entertaining uh, first day of All-Stars. Yeah, and of course, you play to win the game. But, uh, I mean, there were some amazing highlights already, and a couple of ones we're going to look at. They're both involving Jin. Uh, first up, NA taking on the LPL All-Stars, and it was sneaky putting in work around the Baron Pit. Of damage down onto the Chinese squad. Curtain calls being They're all up against the, the wall. Comes. Haunts are, Haunts is tiped down. Oh. Oh. There's a deadly flourish. Haunts it goes down. Barrett okay. now enlisted. North America is helped out by Barrett. Double kill Sneaking for Sneaky. He's going in. Barrett flashed away from Sneaky. Ah. That's a triple. That's a triple. That's a quadra. Barrett is interrupted. She is running for his life. Sneaky, where's the pentakill man? Well, despite that uh, fantastic play, <laughs> NA would go on to lose that game despite having a lead in that one. Typical NA fashion. They were up six towers to none and yep. then still found a way to lose. So congrats to North America. China first in that group. Uh, NA at 1-1. One and one. LPL 2-0. Oh. Yeah, and uh, really Uzi didn't really have to do a whole lot in that game. And uh, they still came away with it. And I just want to say before people go too hard on how the results are at this tournament. I know people are already flaming Mike Young pretty, pretty hard. I mean, this tournament, don't really take much from this tournament. This is a fun tournament. Don't actually start evaluating any of these new rosters or anything like that. Way too early. These guys have barely practiced. Yeah, I think NA maybe played four games together, and even Mike Young with TSM really hasn't scrimmed at all. So take it easy on Mikey Boy. Pump the brakes. Yes, pump the brakes. Uh, more beautiful gin action. Bebe, LMS All-Star. Going to be his last tournament. This guy's been around for a while. World champion in Season 2. And uh, he's having a wonderful farewell tournament so far. Is this going to be the final in, uh, attempt here from Bolden? Frozen put down the Weaver's Wall. Bolden goes in. His passive is just about to get popped. It's BB that gets another. There's at least a reply kill onto Sword on one. For oh, one. Oh. Now Fofo's in trouble, gets tanked down and chunked down. Ooh. There's one on the way out for BB. That's a double. He sends out the... Everyone's so squishy! I got soldiering everything. Frozen gets tagged with three oh. and four. The bullet curves. It's a quadra kill for BB. Frozen's able to escape with 40. They want the Penta. They're looking Boom. for a Penta kill for BB at All-Star 2017. LMS actually, one of the surprising teams so far, actually beat the LCK, but I mean, that, that's expected. They're the, the, the Korea killers. I mean, it's been a couple of years, but yeah, they came back and pretty convincing win over the LCK, specifically Karsa on that Kha'Zix, solo killing Faker time after time. Pretty disgusting. And of course, Fofo showing off how ridiculous so we can be. Oh my god. The, the, the first day of All-Stars. Riot, take a look at that. You have the VODs <laughs> now. How ridiculous this champion is. And just how, how quickly you need to hotfix that champion. Because it doesn't really matter who's playing her. It's insane. No, Bjergsen played it once. Fofo played it twice. Somehow getting through picks and bans three out of six times. And Wasn't even first picked no. in some of these. LCK was oh. like, ah, we don't need to play this champion. But yeah, it's absolutely ridiculous. You hit that sleepy bubble trouble. And then you just hit him with that star from long distance. Also picking up summoner spells from minions, flashes, ignites. Ugh. I mean, it, it's an RNG champ with a ton of damage. Definitely over two. Yeah, I don't think you should be getting those summoner spells just randomly from minions. It should only be when a champion's using them or whenever they're using an item. The fact that you get it randomly from minions is pretty stupid. I think it'd still be super powerful just when a champion's using a summoner. So come on, Riot. You gotta change that. Also, these are Lethality AD carries. You saw those two Jin clips. That's pretty much the only ADs that are being played. MF, Varus, uh, and that Jin. And these Varus Qs were disgusting. Yeah, I mean, uh, that first game for North America against CB Law, the poke comp with, um, what's it called? Zoe and Varus. Disgusting. One Q from each, and people were getting one shot. It was insane. Yeah, and that's against tanks, too. There were a couple times the Sejuani's at, like, half health and yeah. just gets 
instantly pop. So that's where the meta is right now. A lot of poke, and even if you're at full health under your turret, you're gonna die. <laughs> it's good. Yeah, it doesn't look so fun for any of these sieges. Uh, let's jump to these 1v1s really quickly, because they were very interesting. They were really exciting. Some deaths to minions, some last second dives under turrets, exhaust ignite pantheon. Rest in peace, power of evil. Rest in peace, power of evil. Even uh, Sneaky, falling one CS short, his one last CS. auto attack was in the air, but it was BRTT, who changed his name to TT so that the BR tag would just kind of fill it and up. You know what? Very clever. I, I respect that. Yeah. Vert didn't do the same thing. No. Uh, <laughs> so, come on, Vert. Uh, I got to say, my boy Mako, still alive, and uh, he's got a favorable matchup in the quarterfinals against Jisoo. I'm just saying. I'm just saying. Mako's going to win the whole thing. Yeah, and power of evil lost to Jisoo and said there was the most stress he's ever been under while playing. That it's a 1v1. It's a lie. Take it. Yeah, <laughs> you were at semifinals in a game five against SKT. I think that was more <laughs> stressful. Seems like a, a bit more pressure than a random 1v1 tournament in the All-Stars. Also in these quarterfinals, or heading to the quarterfinals, Faker got there and oh my God, he <laughs> got there in stylish <laughs> fashion. A little bit of BM on our boy Vert. We've all leaned against Nasus. AP Nasus and ARAM, that E does disgusting damage, and then you have summon area as well, but he just walked under turret, took half of HP to nah, why not? autos from Vert, and then just started bopping him with the Q. <laughs> it was pretty hilarious, and a lot of BM. He had 99 CS, all he had to do was get one more, and the last one was Vert. So <laughs> <laughs> You gotta get the, the double stacks yeah. on the champions to close out the game. Plus so six. Plus six on that one. And uh, quarterfinals going forward, Faker taking on Bjergsen. It's crazy. Ooh, that is a pretty hype quarterfinal matchup, and I'm really enjoying these 1v1s more than I have in recent years. I'm not sure why, but I am. I think it's more explosive with the new runes. Before it was just, you know, usual cheesy stuff, or a couple years back it was Red Pot starts, which yeah. was pretty crazy, but now it's just a lot of poke. I mean, I will say Exhaust Ignite Pantheon is probably pretty cheesy. Yes. But uh, it <laughs> Yes, works. it is. Uh, before the event started, the, the little tease that Riot did, you saw Yankos, and uh, he, was, <laughs> he was particularly excited about matching up against Ambition. I will be playing against Ambition. Like, this guy is so insane. Like, he has a wife, and he's the best jungler in the world, you know? And even if he destroys me, I will be really happy. <laughs> <laughs> I don't understand why he laughs so loudly and ends his laugh so quickly. That it's, can't be real. <laughs> it seems very fake and forced, but yeah, just being like, he's married and he's a world champion. You can't have both. <laughs> oh, <laughs> okay. That's pretty crazy, Yankos, yeah. And then, of course, he was like, I'd be okay losing to that guy. No problem. You lost. You lost really badly, so congrats. Yeah, uh, LCK completely destroyed. EU Ambition was pretty much a level ahead of Yankos the entire game, if not more. So uh, he, he was just happy to play against him. And also, Yankos and PoE had some pretty top-tier banter uh, after their game. You know, they lost. Or was that before the game? I don't remember. It but, doesn't uh, matter. They had some pretty good banter. Uh, but so far, All-Stars has been really exciting, and I've enjoyed pretty much every aspect of it. I like that Riot's kind of made it serious with a serious competition and the kind of fun stuff with the 1v1s. Uh, there's plenty more action going on tonight. The 1v1s continue. Uh, NA taking on the LMS. No, no. LMS on the other side. GPL. Yeah, GPL. NA taking on GPL. Probably going to lose. Oh, boy. Levi might pop off. He is the TSM killer, and TSM is three-fifths of that NA roster. Uh, quick shout-out to Haunter. He played fantastic in both games. Uh, enjoy the games this evening. Make sure to like, comment, and subscribe for more esports content.